I was sampling mouth-watering cuisine at the new Detroit restaurant, What Crepe. I stepped away from the tantalizing sights and smells to chat up owner Paul Jenkins about his culinary inspirations. What was your inspiration for starting What Crepe? My inspirations came more from international travel. So whether I was in Japan, Brazil, Argentina, um, Aruba, I just found myself, every time I went to a different spot, I would always gravitate to the smaller, niche-oriented style restaurants. And in particular, every time I found a little crepe spot, and it wasn't even on purpose, I would always gravitate to the little crepe spot. Then when I really started to do a research globally, I started to realize that there was much more to a crepe than just the sweets, and which was a big misconception as to a lot of people think it's just sweet or it's just a breakfast. And when I brought it here, we broadened it and included vegan, vegetarian, sweet, and savory. So now we have over 50 crepes on the menu. At what crepe? They have an organic vegetable garden where they grow strawberries, basil, tomatoes, and cucumbers. I got a behind the scenes look at the place where the magic happens, the What Crepe Kitchen. And there is definitely an art to this. The chefs drizzled the crepe batter over the heated stove, blended the savory ingredients, and put it all together to create a delicious meal that I immediately devoured. Wow.